Hello and welcome to another video on, on how to use Notion and leverage some functionalities around it to create even better workflows. Today, I'm going to show you how you can add like an image directly from your phone to a Notion database with just a single click. Um, it's like a yeah, really nice workaround. But before we dive into that, um, why would you want to do that? Well, for example, let's take a look at this. This is a journaling template. So it's uh, designed to help you build a journaling habit to do some introspection exercises and to make continuous progress towards your goals. And one of the things that you can do is like when you do your daily entries or your habit tracking and everything, you can add a picture for the day. Um, and then when you do your weekly or your monthly reviews, you can look back at the past week or the past month and see uh, all the things that took place and just be reminded of everything, um, which is a really nice touch. Plus, uh, you have the option to have like your favorite days uh, show up and then you see images. But as you can see, like uh, today, even though it's a favorite day, it doesn't have a picture. And, um, you know, like uh, it's not too hard to add pictures <laughs> in Notion, but it's a bit cumbersome. You need to open the entry. And then uh, you need to um, add a cover, uh, then change the cover, uh, upload the image, and you need to first get the image from your phone to your laptop. So that's just a lot of friction. Um, and it would be much easier if you could like just go about your day, and whenever you see something that you like, you capture it with your phone, and just with one click, uh, same way as you can upload it to Instagram, you could upload it directly to Notion. And you can. This is exactly what I'm going to show you. So. Let's take a look. Uh, this is our automation here on the side. And what will happen once we build it is that we can simply uh, tap our um, shortcut on the phone, pick any picture that we like, uh, wait for a second uh, for it to reach the automation on the left side, and then the picture will show up. Uh, we need to wait a second <laughs> for it to render, obviously. But uh, then, ta-da, uh, here's the picture. Uh, obviously not the best one, but uh, just for the sake of demonstration. And if we go back to our dashboard also, we will see um, in a second once it loaded that this day now has an image. Perfect. So how do we actually do this? So how does the whole automation work? Well, we're going to use um, two free tools uh, to combine it. Um, we're going to use shortcuts on our iPhone and we're going to use Integromat um, to add the image then to our um, Notion database. Plus, we're going to use uh, a Dropbox account, but you could do the same with like a G Drive, then you would need to, to drain, uh, change the automation slightly. But uh, yeah, for the sake of this, let's just use a free Dropbox account. So let's dive in. Here you can see the um, shortcut how it will look when you import it. I will uh, leave the link in the video description. Plus, there's also a blog post going together with this video if you want to to read through the individual steps. Um, and you don't need to worry about how to set up the shortcut if everything is there already. You just need to do two simple things, and I'm going to show you exactly which uh, these are. First, uh, when you open it and don't uh, worry that this here is in German. Once you import it to your phone, it will be in the language of the phone settings. So the first thing that you need to change is up here where it says webhook, you will need to paste something. Uh, I'll tell you in a second what to paste there. So that's the one change that you need to make. And then the second change that you might need to make is this one where it says um, slash notion uh, here. This one is the path to the Dropbox folder in uh, Dropbox. And to make things very simple, I would uh, recommend that on the, the main uh, level, so uh, directly within your uh, Dropbox folder, you create a new folder called Notion. Then you don't need to change anything in the automation. If you don't want that, then uh, you would need to adapt this accordingly. So if you had, for example, um, uh, like first a folder, like images and then like uh, inside that folder there's another folder called uh, notion then this would be your path so adapt that to whatever you need uh, and that's everything uh, you need to do on your phone um, you can then just uh, uh, click done and um, add the screen uh, like the, the shortcut to your home screen or from wherever you want to run it so let's build now the next part of the automation uh, in Integromat. 
Integromat, if you don't know, is a tool similar to SAPI or um, Automate IO. It lets you build automations using the API. Um, and we're using it because, uh, first of all, I think it's the best tool of the three. Plus, it's the only one of the three that allows you to do multi-step automations on the free plan. So you can build all of this for free without having to spend any money. Um, whereas the other two uh, services will not let you do uh, multi-step automations on the free plan. So the first thing that we want to do, uh, this is just like a, a new, uh, it's called scenario. This is like uh, the, the automation. So you create an account. I have a link for that uh, also down below. Um, cre create a free account and then uh, you create a new scenario. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to define your trigger. So what is supposed to start the automation? In our case, uh, the shortcut is supposed to start the automation that we run on our iPhone. So um, it already appears here, but if it wouldn't, you would just uh, look here for shortcut, um, wait for it to load and then pick that. So this will trigger when a shortcut sends data from your device, perfect. So next thing, it will ask us to um, add a webhook or pick one if we have already one, you most likely won't have one already. So you click on add webhook, give it a name and save it. And what will happen is uh, once you added a webhook, um, you will get this link. And this is the link that I was talking uh, to you about before that you should copy and paste into the um, field where it says like webhook on the shortcut. Um, that's where it needs to go uh, to make sure that you can actually send information to the right place. So um, once that is done and once you've pasted it into your uh, iPhone shortcut, you can um, click on run once. Uh, so now we just check whether the webhook is actually connected and to make sure uh, that we can continue. So click on run once and now this will wait until it receives data from the shortcut. So we switch over to our iPhone, uh, just click quickly on the shortcut, pick any image that we fancy, um, wait a second for it to process and for it to reach shortcut and then we can continue. Uh -huh. There it is. And now if you click on the one, you can see the information that it got from the shortcut and it is this one. It's um, the link to your Dropbox image. Perfect. So next step, how do we get that into Notion? And that depends a bit on how your database is set up. I will um, show you how my database for this example is set up. And then hopefully from that and the explanation, you can figure out what you need to do for your specific use case. So in my case, I have for the journaling template, I have a huge database where also through an automation, I added every single day <laughs> of the year from 1st of Jan till the last uh, day of December. And uh, it already has a date. If you um, uh, have uh, like uh, have it in a, a different way and you just want to to get like um, uh, uh, the, the day uh, of today in the right format you can uh, always do this uh, by just having a created um, field and then like a date formula that formats today's date in this format uh, to get to the same result if you don't want to do it through an automation. So this would be great if you also have like a, a journaling template or so, and every day um, you create in the morning your entry, but you don't want to um, fill in uh, this as a name and instead uh, have it automatically be calculated. That would be a workaround. But um, just to uh, summarize what we have, we have a database where all entries already exist. And the only thing that we need now to do in the automation is we need to tell the automation to pick today's entry and add the image there. So what we do is we click on add another module. We're going to look for Notion. There it is. And then we uh, want to search. We want to search for objects of a page, database, or item because the um, page already exists. We just need to find it. So we click this. And the first thing it asks us is to put in the database ID. Ah. If you, it's your first time uh, using this, you uh, will have to create the connection first. So you will need to add like um, Notion as, uh, as um, a connection. And then after adding this, you need to make sure that your database is actually shared with um, Integromat. As you can see, uh, Integromat uh, is part of this page. So uh, it can access this database. 
going back here. So we need to have the database ID. Sometimes uh, it lets you actually choose them, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, that's a bit confusing. But if it uh, if you don't get a drag and uh, drop down menu here, you can uh, need to find the database ID. And, and it's fairly straightforward. <laughs> you open your database uh, uh, in the browser. And then you see in the link, you can see this here in between um, the first slash after your workspace name and the question mark. Whoops. Uh, OK. <laughs> I don't know why my mouse doesn't want to do it. Um, I have it already uh, copied, but I uh, just want to showcase this. Now we got it. So don't want to copy the question mark. Don't want to copy the slash. Everything in between. Copy that and um, paste it uh, over here into the database idea. Uh, and then it will uh, load this filter option. So now we can pick one of the um, uh, properties from uh, our database. I will take um, the date calendar that's today's date and then we want to ask is that equal to today so uh, to do that we actually um, uh, need a small formula but don't worry it's all fairly straightforward we go to the calendar options here um, then to the formula format date and now we need to put in two things we need to put in what date we want to format and which format we want so first which date do we want we want now so um, we can just take the variable now here oops that's actually the, the wrong spot we need it in this spot uh, now and then how do we want uh, it to be formatted well we want to have like the year then we want to have the month and then we want to have the day and obviously if the format of your <laughs> date is different then you put that format in so let's press okay um and then as the last step uh oh wait we can actually we can quickly run this module only again to just get the data and information and we see it was successful uh for today it retrieved uh, a database item so now we know it works and then lastly we just need to add the picture so how do we add the picture we want to update an existing page it's this option um the page id will be the one that we just found. So in Unity Command, when you set it up, uh, you get like an option to pick any of the information from the previous module. So you see, we could uh, pick the link here, and if you go over it, uh, it pulses, or we could pick any of the information that the Notion one got, and uh, we want to have the page ID, because that's the today's entry. The title, we don't want uh, to change. We don't want to change the emoji icon. We only want to give it uh, a cover URL link. And the cover URL link, uh, you would think, <laughs> is the Dropbox link. But unfortunately, if you do just this, it won't work because Dropbox gives you a weird link. Uh, in other words, the link that Dropbox, gi Dropbox gives you can't be directly rendered by Notion because the URL um, has the wrong ending. If we look at the, um, the output uh, of our um, of this note, then we see that uh, we actually don't see it, but it ends always in uh, like uh, DL equals zero. And for whatever reason, Notion can't render this. So instead, we need to um, do some <laughs> quick shenanigans uh, with this URL to make sure the image renders correctly. What we need to do is we need to go again into our functions. This time it's a text function and need to find the function replace. And we uh, then pick the content from um, the URL. So this is where we want to do a replacement on. Next, we pick what we want to replace. And we want to replace the ending. Uh, that is uh, dl equals 0. And instead of dl equals 0, the end of the um, URL should say raw equals 1. And that's it. <laughs> Might seem a bit complicated, but don't worry. I will uh, give you a link uh, to this, uh, so you don't need to put the formulas in yourself. And you can always look at the blog post if you need some more help with that. And that's everything. Uh, now you can save uh, your um, uh, automation, and um, you can turn it on here. Once it's turned on, the scenario uh, asks you when should it run. Uh, and that uh, is asking like when it receives information from the shortcut, when should it be executed? And we say um, like immediately whenever it whoops, 
uh, whenever it gets information from our shortcut, we want this to run immediately and immediately add the image to Notion. So that's it. That's how you uh, can add images directly from your phone with just one click to your Notion database uh, and workspace. You can obviously adapt it. Uh, you could change um, the uh, automation that we were just talking about. Instead of like looking for uh, like an already existing entry, you could simply create a new page. If you um, have the uh, situation that you don't create like your journaling entry before you add the image or so. Uh, but uh, now you know how to, it works in general and like one potential use case for a journal template like this. And yeah, I hope uh, it wasn't too complicated. <laughs> if you have any questions, uh, please ask me uh, in the comments. Also, I will link uh, the explaining blog post where you can find all the formulas and links um, so that you can build it yourself. And yeah, uh, if you like this, uh, I hope uh, you will also uh, give this video a like. Uh, also subscribe to my channel if you want. Uh, I'm doing very irregular videos on these kind of cool advanced notion tricks. And yeah, uh, I hope to see you soon.